Hey guys, I'm Avesh. This is the part 9 of the Mern Stack tutorial. In the previous session, we create a simple GET API using Express.js. In this session, we will understand the API standards followed by Google. We'll explore the basic routes such as GET, POST, PUT and DELETE and we'll handle multiple HTTP methods using Google standards. We will be following Google standards in creating the APIs. If you browse the link of the Google API Explorer, notice that Google has published a lot of APIs under its API Explorer. There are many APIs related to Add, Calendar, Analytics, Backup, Google Drive and so on. All of these APIs follow a set of standards. Let me search for a calendar API. And if I open this API in a new window, notice that the current version of this API is v3. That means they have reached to the v3 version of this calendar API eventually from the past few years. And then they have different routes available under the calendar API. Similarly, we will be creating routes in our application related to user, cart, checkout, billing, and so on. In this case, the route is calendar and the version of this API is v3. Let's now switch back to our Visual Studio code and create a simple route in the Express.js application. In the previous session, we have created a simple get API. Let me create a post, put, and delete API as well. In order to do that, instead of get, we are going to add post operation and rest of the things remain same since we are not performing any actions on get post or delete. Eventually, we'll be handling all of those actions in the later sessions. But right now, I'm just creating empty post and delete and put APIs over here. Let me copy and paste it and change it as put API. Similarly, this is my first post API. And then let's say put API. And then this is delete API. Now these APIs are available at the home of the application, which means we are browsing with localhost 3000 and calling the get post put and delete APIs. Let me simulate this using the postman. In the previous session, I've used the command prompt. In this session, let me use the terminal to run this API. So let me use node app.js. Look at that, the API is running under localhost 3000. Let me open the postman, create a new HTTP request, paste that, and I'm not going to use anything and just click on send. Look at that, we have a response with this is my first Git API. Now let me save this and call it as within the collection. Let me create a collection called ecom and save it and request name as home get. Look at that, we have under the collection, we have home get. Let me right click and duplicate this one and change it as post and rename this as well to home post call. Now if I invoke this, Look at that, we have now first post API. Similarly, please feel free to create the other post APIs as well. Now let me switch back and notice that all of these APIs are added separately with a slash. Now let me define a common route just above this and call it as app.route. And within that route, I'm going to create this as home. And as we are following the Google standards, let me say slash v1. That means we are creating the v1 APIs here. And instead of app.get, I'm going to remove all of these app dot options or app options so that all of these API lie under home v1. Let me save this and restart this application. Let me run the application. Notice that we have an error. We have handled the chained events on the route. So we already have a route at the root level. We don't need this route at each of these APIs. So let me remove this route and let me start this application again after saving the app.js file. Notice that the application is running at localhost. Let me go back to the postman and try to invoke this. Look at that, we have a 404 error. That's because we now have a route created for the home API. So we have to type in as home slash v1. So under v1 get put and post operations will be returning the response. Notice that we now have the API under this home route. Similarly, we are going to change it for post operation as well. Let me send the request. Look at that. We now have both the APIs working under the route as well as under the version. In the next session, we will understand structuring the Express API with routes and controllers. Till then, thank you for listening and have a great day.